The following is a presentation of TFNN. This story began on a nice Florida winter day, December 10th, 2005, when a lone fisherman in Mosquito Lagoon out near Cape Canaveral discovered a crab trap that appeared to have something caught inside of it. As the fisherman looked closer, he noticed that a baby dolphin was tangled in a rope that had cut off the supply of blood to the dolphin's tail. The fisherman cut the rope and called for help because he saw this dolphin was struggling. The dolphin, later named Winter, was brought to the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, but too much damage was done to her tail and it could not be saved. Now folks, the greatest gift you can give anyone is the gift of your attention. And that is exactly what Winter received from a group of prosthetic engineers who created an innovative new design for a prosthetic tail. Winter, she's doing just fine, and her story of survival and success has gone on to touch others, many, many others. These are folks that need a more flexible prosthetic. We can't control the circumstances of life, folks, only how we respond to them. Circumstances are like the wind. Learn to set a good sail, folks, and let the wind take you to your dreams, your treasures, and your destination. Welcome to TFNN. We're glad you're here and you have our attention. It is now time for The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the May 17th. Fantastic Friday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes. Absolutely, folks, I mean absolutely treasure your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks, that truly is what it's all about. So let's go look at one of our tools. This is the tool I call if nothing is ventured, nothing is gained. You know, the spirit of adventure is a deeply human trait that each of us have. And, you know, and it's one of those traits that just simply has been with us forever, thousands of years. It's the potential that you have within you, that potential to leave the world a better place than you found it. Now, now that you have to, you know, I mean, you, you don't actually have to, but I know all of you tigers do. You want to leave this world a better place. And if you are to likely take notice, you know, think about it like this. Few people will take notice if you do nothing with your life. You can be one that absolutely plays it safe. Who ventures what? Who ventures nothing? But nothing ventured is nothing gained. Here's the cool thing. When you choose to leave what seems safe and familiar and you voyage, folks, into uncharted waters, you can become like the first person who set out to conquer fire out there, a real adventurer who dares to go forward into the unknown like a real pioneer. When you venture out of the safe zone, you become one who can make a difference in life. Think of it like this. You can't cross the sea merely by standing at the water's edge out there. If nothing is ventured, nothing is gained. So let's go check out these markets. Let's go see what adventures we may have in store for ourselves today. Right now, futures-wise, we have the Dow futures trading up about 37 points. Looks like they would open up maybe about 41. In the cash, S&P futures up about 6, trading at 16.53. NASDAQ futures up almost 10 points out at 3,008. Russell 2000 up about 4 out at 9.87. The euro, the queen, is getting hammered this morning, back about 90 ticks. The uh, Pound is off 100 uh, out there. We've got some major moves going on inside the currency market. Of course, you probably know what that means. That means the king is on the move northward. Oh, boy, this is going to uh, finish out a, a strong week for the U.S. dollar index, or at least that's the way things are pointing here right now. We've got gold trading off 12 bucks, trading out at 13.75. Silver off 12 pennies, out at 22.53. Light sweet crude, that's a whole other story. That's headed north. Up a buck ten right now, trading out at ninety six twenty five. Natural gas up two ticks out here. Copper actually up three pennies this morning. Hmm, interesting. We take a quick peek here across the uh, pond. What we will see is the uh, DAX is trading up fifteen points right now. Footsie's up twenty five. So not a lot of movement out there in Asia last night. The uh, Nikkei up a hundred points, up about seven tenths of a percent. Uh, the uh, Shanghai that was up one at three tenths of a percent. That was up. 32 points, and the Hang Seng up 38, only about uh, less than two-tenths of a percent on the way northward. Our call-in number, 
as you know, it's 877-927-6648. We'd love to hear from you. We could take a look at uh, your stock chart, answer any question that you would like. If you're watching this on Tiger TV right now, you're seeing this, uh, what I'll call today's very important charts to be monitoring. So we've got eight little quadrants out here. We took a look at this yesterday as well. And uh, if you're listening on the radio or your mobile device at tfnn.mobi, thank you for doing that. Remember, you can always catch the live stream of this on your device. Not if you're driving, obviously, but, you know, you can catch the live stream by going to the homepage of tfnn.com. On the right-hand side, you will see you will see a little button there that will let you go ahead and just click on that. You'll see three little smartphones. You'll get this show streaming live, and you can always catch the replay of this on Channel 9 on Tiger TV. So upper left-hand corner, we've got the S&P Futures contract, the 30-minute chart, the EKG of the uh, market. In uh, next to that on the right, we've got the uh, daily volatility index for the S&P Futures. To the right of that, we've got the uh, daily gold contract up here. We've got the uh, June contract. It's trading at 1378. It's trading inside that uh, swing point, that high volume low from April 16th. That low, 1321.50. That is likely the number that is going to get tagged. In the very upper right-hand corner, that's an important chart for sure. That is the Euro-Japanese Yen cross-rate currency pair. That's the currency pair that tracks the S&P 500 better than any other currency pair in the marketplace. That has hit a significant uh, fib. We'll call it a, a significant high with some nice uh, Fibonacci expansion numbers. We'll take a look at that. Lower left hand is silver. You can see here the uh, bulls really trying to defend the uh, position yesterday. We had silver get down to 2206. 22 is the exact low of April 16th. You'd sure like to see that get tagged and give you some type of information. Maybe that will take place today. King dollar just to the right of that. That is on the move trading out right now this is a little bit of a about a 10 minute delay on my feed but right now 84.29 is what we'll call it here and light sweet crew just to the right of that that continues made a nice hammer candle that was on may the 15th the bears had every opportunity to take control of light sweet crew down that session but no 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 we've got the a to b equals cd that is being formed here looks like we're going to pay more at the uh, pumps and then to the very right bottom right hand corner we've got the uh, 30-year treasury all of these i think are important charts to be paying attention to as well as anything that you might hold inside your portfolio. So let's go begin with the ES Mini. Let's go into the upper left-hand corner. What do we have here? How about yesterday's move down towards the end of the uh, trading session, coming right into the 4 o'clock time frame? Did you ever wonder why is it that price got down to a low of 1646, and that was our low? Any, any, any reason that could come to your mind? How about Good old Leonardo Fibonacci. If we take a look at that, what we will see right at that price level at 1646, it was a 0.786 retracement of a hammer low that came in at 9.30 in the morning on May the 15th, all the way up to the high that we've seen thus far, which came in at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on May 15th on the ES Mini. That was at 1659.75. So that low that came in yesterday as we were coming into the close at 4 p.m., that was a 0.786 retracement. Hmm. How about this? Coming off of the low at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and this is on May 15th as well, that low is 1648.50. How about from that low all the way to the high that was put in here at 1130 in the morning on May 16th yesterday, that happened to be a 1.272 expansion. A 1.272 expansion and a 0.786 retracement, hmm, something to think about. Now, if that wasn't enough, how about this? You come all the way back to the swing point low at 7 in the morning on May 14th. That was the price level of 1626.50, all the way up to the high that was put in at uh, 1 p.m. on May the 15th. Well, yesterday's low at 4 o'clock at 1646, that was a .382 retracement. That was enough to stop the market dead in its tracks. Folks, you want to go ahead. I can't tell you why it works. I can only tell you that it does work, and you want to be able to know this you can look, you don't have to have this automated tool that i've got on my system it sure is nice you don't need it you can identify swing points you can just simply draw retracements and that way what you're looking at is an essence or range just go from the low at seven in the morning on may 14th all the way up to the high that was put in at one o'clock in the afternoon on may 15th you'll see that was a point three eight two retracement the exact number 1647.05 it got down to 1646 you got to make sure you're giving it a little bit of wiggle room there because this is not about being, this is absolutely not about perfection, because that game sucks. That game doesn't exist out there. Don't strive for perfection. The lowest absolute standard you could actually look for in life out here. 
So you can draw these in here. You can draw these expansions and these contractions, and as a market is moving down, that will help you to understand where things are moving to. You can add some other indicators as well. You can see as the market getting towards the overbought, oversold territory. That will help you out. Now, what has happened since then, since that low? Well, what we can see here is we've just done a retracement, a normal retracement, off of the high from 1130 down to that low yesterday. 0.786, that exact number, 1656. And what have we gotten up to so far? 1655.50 as we came on the air here at 9 o'clock. Just a normal retracement out there. Now, as it was doing that, kind of interesting, we got up towards the top of that overbought condition, got into that 66 level, 65.93 to be exact out there. So that's what went on in the market. That's why the markets did what they did yesterday in the ES Mini. It's why the ES Mini stopped where it did, just simply ran into good old Leonardo Fibonacci. That's on the 30-minute. That's your EKG. Now let's go take. We'll go to the lower left. We've got the uh, light sweet crude out here. Light sweet crude as it was coming down on uh, May the 15th out here. If we just simply take a look at what's the retracement from its recent swing point low, that would be May 1st out here, to the high that was put in on April the 6th. You'll see that the .618 is 92.81, and 91.62 would have been the .786 level. Now, that was enough to actually stop it, but the key was what kind of candle was formed during the day, and that was a hammer candle. That says 92.13 is significant, significant support. But more important than that, we saw some follow through yesterday inside Light Sweet Crude. That says this A to B equals CD, which is confirmed, by the way. That is absolutely still intact out there. And 98.94 is the uh, first target. We'll say 98.08 to 98.89-ish or so. But more likely, what we're looking at is not just a move of a move going back to the February 13th high at 99.52. Looks like we actually could be getting up to about the 101 level. There's going to be some resistance, no question, as there has here over the course of the last uh, week or so as it gets back into this April 1st high out at 98.06. But so far right now, what the message of the markets is for light sweet crude is the bulls are truly out there defending their position. Now, let's go take a look at the stock chart that perhaps is most important to each of us out here, and that's this one. That is the Euro-Japanese-Yen currency pair. Right now, we take a look at the expansions that it made as it formed a high out here just a few trading sessions ago on May 14th, a 1.618 expansion and a 1.272 expansion. That is on the daily chart. Uh, if we go back all the way, if I take this back further, what you're going to see coming in there also off of a key swing point, I know there's a lot of lines out here on the chart, but if you go back to September of 2008, that high, right around the 156 mark, all the way down to the low that was put in in July of 2012, right around 94 something. What you're going to see is that also is a 0.618 retracement. So we've got a 0.618 retracement as well as two expansion numbers. We got Leonardo at work. This could be a significant high inside the Euro Japanese yen. Well, if that's the case, folks, I wonder what that means for our markets. 877 927 6648. We'll be right back. says you can't take it with you. TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors.
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. And uh, one more thing. I got the uh, Euro-Japanese yen uh, currency pair chart on my uh, screen. And, you know, we opened up the show taking a look at the uh, ES Mini 30-minute uh, chart, taking a look at some of the Fibonacci relationships in between uh, swing points out here. We also have taken a look at that at the high out here inside the uh, Euro-Japanese yen currency pair. But if we just simply step back a tad here, come back and take a look at the uh, low that was put in back here on uh, April the uh, 3rd. Uh, that level at $119.10 pennies out here. Take a look. at That was a .382 retracement. That was coming off of this little hammer candle down here on December the 10th from that low, which was out at 105.96, all the way up to the high that was put in on February 6th out there. Again, you could use your Fibonacci retracement expansion ruler that is on your charting software. That was a .382 retracement. It was a .618 retracement off of a swing point from January 9th. That low out there, that price point was 113.53 all the way to the high that was put in on February the 6th. Then you've got another swing point out here. It looks like a hammer, close to a hammer. That was January 23rd out here, uh, down at the level of 117.03, all the way up to that same swing point high on February 6th. And then you had the 100% move of a move. So in essence, you had four things coming together right at about that price range of 119.10. And then, boy, the bulls really showed up right there. They must have been watching their Fibonacci screens as well. Take a look at that wide-ranging bar off of the uh, low. If our markets are going to move higher, what needs to happen inside this currency pair is it has to close above. It's got to get above 
13276. That's what you want to be paying attention to. You want to be watching that. You get a close above, you get a move above, you get some type of conviction, wide ranging bar above that. These markets here, they will move higher. That's what the Euro Japanese yen currency pair will be signaling to us. On the other hand, knowing that we're up against three Fibonacci numbers as we made this high here, looks like we'll likely see some type of a pullback. The question's going to be, is this just simply going to be a move down to the .618 area, which would take you into 129.22? Maybe it's the .786 right around 128.26, or are we going to start seeing expansions to the downside? That will be the real key. As you can see, coming off of these lows here, we have not seen any expansions to the uh, downside out here. That will be the key uh, from a currency standpoint. Uh, with regard to our markets, that we have seen a significant top because in the currency side, you will start seeing expansions to the downside. That is on the daily chart out here. We go peek in and take a look at what's going on inside the uh, queen right now, almost off 100 ticks. She is at its low of the uh, session out here, of the session day, taking out its uh, lows from all the way back here at 8.30 in the morning uh, from a couple trading sessions ago on May the, uh, May the, what was that? May the uh, 15th out here. You can see on the intraday chart, moving towards that oversold uh, condition, of course, we had that nice Gartley uh, sell pattern up here that has really worked out well. Let's take a look at the uh, daily chart out here, the daily chart of the uh, euro. That says, let me get rid of I don't know why I've got some of these boxes out here. Let's just get rid of it. We take a look at the uh, euro here. We know that it had broken its consolidation level. That consolidation level was broken with some conviction on May the uh, 14th. That set up a move of equal to or greater than the consolidation. What that says is that the euro wants to come down on the daily chart, which is not overbought uh, or oversold on the daily chart. It's going to come down and test the uh, support low from April 4th, 1.2743 out there. That's just going to be an equal move of the consolidation, and we may see that today. That, folks, that should put a little bit of hurt into the uh, market. Uh, that'll put some strength, more strength, even more strength, into the U.S. dollar index, which is up 60 ticks right now. Gold is held up pretty well, only back uh, 10 bucks right now, and silver only off six cents. But boy, everybody is jumping in to the uh, U.S. dollar. Now, things that are popping and dropping in the marketplace, well, it's mostly drops in the uh, marketplace. We take a look at the one that's truly getting the kibosh out here this morning. That is Aruba Networks. That is down 28%. A R U N is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's go take a look. And this thing has had some real troubles here as of late. It's going to have more troubles today. Now it had a nice move up to the highs out here recently. Uh, high volume bar on February 22nd out here moved up with 20 million shares. But then we got big move down just a, a week ago, a little over a week ago, May the seventh out there. Yeah, was that a week? Uh, let's see, today is what, the 17th? Yeah, so a little over a week ago, down with 23 million shares, so down with more volume uh, than it was on that uh, breakout session. So now this thing truly breaking down. Why? It's traded. It's last trade here just fired off at 14.69. This, folks, uh, was up at, uh, you know, this one here with the high volume high, uh, you would have thought, okay, you were in a pretty decent trade here as it came back into the breakout area. It was doing what it was supposed to. That breakout was February 22nd. It came back there with lighter volume here on April the 19th. But, boy, when you had that volume come out of it on May 7th, that was a warning sign. Well, big warning because it's going to be trading all the way down into the, well, it's already down, well, 1248. That's going to be your lows of your swing point area back in July of 2012. It bust that area, folks. Boy, Next thing set up on this is about $10.29 at a minimum. We'll be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. 
or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, gives you Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. With Market Insights, nothing is left to guessing. With the market at record levels, volatility is here, and now is a perfect time to take advantage of a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights. As recently as March 26th, Tom advised his subscribers to liquidate their four short short-term equity holdings, closing out all four positions for a combined 15.9% profit, and on April 1st, Tom advised his clients to sell their longer-term position in AIG warrants, locking in more than a 40% profit in just that one trade. If you'd like to see the kind of newsletter Tom O'Brien sends out to his subscribers each morning, then sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to launch our brand new software charting program, The Art of the Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind software, Art of the Charts allows you to scan for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, Butterflies, ABCs, and much more. Art of the Charts is designed to help you when scouring the market for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, and even months searching to find. As part of our introductory pricing, we're offering licenses available at only $59 per month. We're so confident that you'll love this new, outstanding piece of charting software that we'll even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Lock in your low price today by ordering your copy at TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're off to the races. We got the Dow up 51 points, trading at 15,284. S&P up 7 out at 1657. The composite up 17 points, trading at 3482. Russell 2000 up four points out at 989. Google to the upside by eight dollars and a quarter right now. Apple up 440. Microsoft up 10 ticks. Intel up 20 ticks. 21 ticks. Cisco up three and lead the charge to the uh, lead the charge. To the upside is Google, followed by Apple. Cena Corp out with numbers as well before the uh, bell, maybe after the bell yesterday. Uh, up four percent this morning. Up two dollars and fifteen cents. Uh, they are net loss narrowed a bit. Let me see if I can find their numbers here. They reported net revenue of 126 million versus 106 from the uh, prior uh, year. That was on Q1. I don't see the uh, net income here. I don't see it, but they are popping this morning. Amazon right behind them, up two dollars and seventy cents here right now. That's up a percent. Northrop Grumman N O C is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, they're up 4.5% here this morning. Uh, I don't see here. What do they do? They're doing a $4 billion stock repurchase program. So that's what uh, is going on inside that. We've got uh, Oceaneering International, OII, up 3% here this morning, up $2.14. Tidewater, TDW, up a couple of bucks. That's up about 4%. 
Uh, they declared a quarterly dividend of uh, about a quarter out. Yeah, eight, not about a quarter, actually a quarter out there. That is moving that EOG Resources. EOG is up about a buck forty nine. Uh, Alexian Pharmaceuticals (ALXN) up a buck fifty four. Diamond Offshore (DO) go ahead and do it. They are up two uh, percent here this morning. Marathon Petroleum up a buck thirty eight. Goldman Sachs up a buck sixteen. To the downside, well, it is that leader in the clubhouse, Aruba Networks, A-R-U-N, up 28% and with volume. Only been trading for six minutes. To the downside here, this has already got 11 million shares. Remember, the last gap down here had uh, had a total of 23 million shares. I think that is going to be easily handled here. And we'll put this on a, a weekly chart. So on the weekly chart, let's go see what set of swing points. Well, it's going to break through an area that it basically you could say it's been consolidating since uh, 2010, May 2010. Once this gets below 1260 out here, it's sayonara. Sayonara means taking this thing all the way back probably to the lows, around 2 bucks or so. It'll first have to get through a little cluster of swing points out here at about 744 to 8 uh, 9 bucks or so. It's trading at 1255 right now. Would not want to be inside uh, this equity at all. That was uh, Ruba Networks. Autodesk uh, and Ruba Networks, what do they do? I think re revenue-wise here, let's see here. Revenue-wise, if I can uh, find it, they did uh, $147 million versus 131 from the prior year. But, boy, they got a real, they got a real uh, cost problem. 20.1 in net loss versus $6 million the prior year. That is a big cost overrun. Autodesk, ADSK, they were out with uh, numbers also after the bell last night. They're trading down 9% off 350. We'll go take a look at that. They reported net income of 55 million versus 78 million from the uh, prior year. Revenue 570 versus 588. ADSK is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's go see what kind of volume is behind this early move in this. Nice gap down and looks like it too has uh, volume out here. So we'll take a look at uh, Autodesk. Uh, we'll see where this is going to uh, travel back into. Oh, my goodness. It has this high volume low sticking out here uh, August the 24th. That level anywhere from 27.70 to 31 and a quarter. That's got 34 million shares there. It's going to be taking out, trying to take out a B point of an A to B equals CD down. That is the swing point of April 19th. Only 1.8 million shares there. Well, today, already 1.7 million shares. So it's got the volume. Now we're just looking for the price action. Gets below 35, well, the number is 35.51. That sets up your A to B equals CD being confirmed here because you're going to have it confirmed with volume. As soon as you get it confirmed with price, that says one to one. We'll take you all the way down to 34.77. Now, oops, I, I didn't do that right here. My apologies. My uh, Let me do a better job here on my chart artwork. There we go, 34.37, uh, but nah, that's not where it's going to stop. When you come off of a C point like that with conviction, that says, uh, hey, good old sweet 1.618. That is where it wants to actually move down to. Well, that would be 3074. That takes you right into that high volume high out there from August the 24th. Looks to me like that is where Autodesk wants to head to as soon as it breaks 3551. Hasn't done that yet, but that's what it wants to uh, go ahead and do. If we take a look at uh, Diego PLC, uh, they're the uh, down a couple of bucks out here. Let me see if they were out with uh, numbers. They're not. Uh, you got Stage Stores off about two bucks, down seven percent this morning. They were out with numbers. Their uh, loss is widening out here. They generated uh, sales of uh, about one point a range of one point seven billion. Yeah, but what's it going against? Uh, they did a net loss of six point nine million versus point four from a year ago. So, boy, some companies here are really struggling to contain their costs. Let's go take a look at this one. Don't ever recall looking at stage stores. Let's go see actually what they actually do out here. The ticker symbol is uh, SSI. You are following along at home. So gapping down with the volume here this morning. But I want to go take a look at what stage stores is out here. What stores? So they uh, obviously department stores, off-price stores in the U U.S. They operate... <clears throat> Oh, okay, so this is Bell's. So that's uh, their big outfit down here in Florida. So you got Bell's, Goodies, don't recall seeing that, Polaris Royale, P Peebles, it's like P-E-E-B-L-E-S, and, uh, and uh, Stage Names uh, for moderately price recognized brand names. Anyways, that's what Stage Stores is uh, doing, uh, That's or that's who they, uh, the names that they trade under. Well, let's go see what it's going to trade into. So you're gapping down this morning. You have good volume in it. 
So far, 392,000 shares. It's uh, below its most recent swing point, which only has 448,000 shares. That was on the uh, March 22nd level, right at about uh, 2475. You are below that. This thing is going to head at least back down to, uh, let's see here. Well, it's going to at least, should at least move back all the way to January the 14th out here. Uh, not a lot of volume or anything to go ahead and keep it up. You had a decent day on January 16th, 880,000 shares, but that's really what it's trading into here right now. You can see the top of that is 2389. The low so far today is 2386. So that's what it's trading into. Kind of a, a last sign of uh, strength out here. And if that gives, well, then it's going to go ahead to the swing point low, 2085. But the question is, you know, is that going to be able to be held? The question is going to be right here. Here's where your sign of strength inside uh, stage stores is at. We'll take a look. at. We've just drawn it. Uh, we've drawn the line on the uh, bottom of the swing point. We'll go ahead and put the uh, volume out here. And that is the real breakout in this thing. Took place here on October the uh, 2nd, 2012. A million shares to the upside. And that area was tested. It was tested with 639,000 shares on January 14th and a nice little bullish candle that was out here on the uh, on January 15th. And, again, the ticker symbol we're looking at here is SSI, that is stage stores. Now, volume here this morning is uh, pretty significant on the pullback for only 12 minutes of trading, 432,000. So looks to me like that's really where it wants to move down to. And, again, that price level right around 21 71 out there. Uh, we've got uh, Nordstrom's was out with uh, numbers here. Nordstrom's uh, JWN is a ticker symbol. They're off about two bucks this morning. Let's go see what uh, they're showing here from a, a numbers standpoint. They reported uh, revenues or net earnings of 145 million versus 149. So, <clears throat> excuse me, not too bad there. And actually, their their uh, revenues were not bad. Also, 2.7 versus 2.5, but their guidance must be uh, pointing downward. JWN is the uh, ticker symbol here, so it's gapping down this morning. Let's go take a look at uh, this equity, see where it will uh, trade into, uh, take a look at any uh, candle formations that we can see on this. So we're taking a look at uh, this equity here. Went ahead and see here. Got a little gap. So if we come back to the left-hand side of the chart, the uh, first gap, little sign of not really a sign of strength from a volume standpoint, but from a gap standpoint a rising window out here uh, is going to be your may 3rd area so that should be where it should at least first head to only 1.2 million shares down there so far this morning 786,000 shares so that's not going to be enough to uh should not be enough to uh, support that that says that the gap gets closed that's the may 2nd level and that is at 5703 and that's on uh, nordstrom's if i pull this back a little bit further and this is nordstrom's was not at its highs. Yeah, it was at its highs. Let me actually let me put this back on a, a weekly basis because then on a, a weekly basis, yeah, it got up over its highs. So it's all time highs out here. So it's made that hundred percent move of a move, takes you back to February twenty third, two thousand seven. So this has done a, a little double top formation. Last time that it was up here on the a weekly chart, it had volume off of the highs here, had twenty three million shares. So it looks like that's where we're gonna get here uh today or this week as well as it made its uh, move, 100% move of a move. We are now on the daily chart are starting to get some volume off of the highs out there. You know, kind of one by one, we're starting to see that signature inside so many uh, equities in the uh, marketplace out here. Not a, uh, not a good sign, folks. Absolutely not a good sign. Uh, let's go take a look at Rand Gold Resources. That's jumping up here on my uh, screen. So we know that the uh, gold equities have been getting uh, hammered out here, just as uh, gold has. Uh, so we're taking a look at uh, Rangold. G-O-L-D is the uh, ticker symbol. Now, it's not really, uh, it has not gapped down or anything like that, just trading down off of yesterday's sessions. But I would expect that what we'll see here is we'll see Rangold get down and uh, test. Uh, you want to see it come back all the way to the April 17th uh, level. Let me just expand this up on my uh, screen here. Uh, April 17th is the swing point low. It's not trading into it just yet. But uh, that number is going to be 7,107. Once you see a trade into 7,107, then 6,651 should be the uh, destination. Volume down there is 1.4 million shares. You'd like to see it test that level and uh, do it on a lighter volume out there. If you're coming in with more than 1.4 million shares, it says Rand Gold wants lower price out here in the uh, marketplace. Uh, let's go take a look here at, uh, let's go look at some positive news, you know, because especially since I am the eternal optimist. Uh, but, uh, you know, the markets trade in both directions, so I'm optimistic both ways, whether they're 
going up or going down. Let's take a look at what is leading the charge out here. No longer is it Apple or uh, Google. It's a Viasat Inc. V uh, V S A T is the uh, ticker symbol. Now let's see what is this? They're becoming the new Boeing satellite custom Boeing selected to build Viasat two satellite. So let's go take a look at the uh, stock chart out here again. V S A T is the uh, symbol. Uh, having a, a nice move up here. Let's pull this back. Boy, we'll talk about a, a nice uh, sign of strength out here that this had. So it looks like this is probably at its highs. Let's pull this back here. Let's put it on a monthly chart real quick. Just a, uh, Most certainly it is. Now let's go take a look at the uh, daily chart out here. Heck of a, a sign of strength off of the uh, bottom out here. This uh, coming out on uh, February the 7th. Big volume for this equity. 1.9 million shares to the upside. But take a look at that wide price spread. Never came back to the uh, breakout area. Broke out again here recently back on May 9th. Did that uh, with 725,000 uh, shares out there and continuing to move higher out here. If we take a look at uh, patterns, let me put this on a, a weekly chart. If we take a look at weekly uh, patterns out here, weekly A to B equals CDs. Let's go take a look at this because this could be a, a doozy. So we're going to take a look at the swing point on this is the week of February 3rd, 2012, 1.3 million shares, and it uh, got beyond that with 1.5 million shares. So longer term, where this actually wants to uh, head to out here. Let's take a look at that A to B point. Your A point on this is going to be all the way down to the lows of October in 2008. So you can see it's at 67.77 is the one-to-one. -one. But when you take a look at this uh, move here along the inside portion, along the uh, C to D leg here, actually says it, it's going to want higher price, which is more likely uh, $77. And that is on uh, VSAT Communications out here in the marketplace. Uh, let's go to Irene in San Diego. Irene, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you this morning? I'm fine. How are you, Steve? I'm doing just great. Thank you for asking. And what do you have planned for your weekend? Um, not much. <laughs> Probably not clean, much. Huh? Cleaning yeah, the garage. Right. What's that? <laughs> cleaning the garage. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. Are you a longtime resident of San Diego? Uh, about 15 years. No, 20 oh, years. Yeah. Okay, that's are you are you've always have you always been on the West Coast? Yeah, uh huh, pretty much. Oh, what a San Diego! What a great what a great uh, place out there. Nice I weather. I know it's yeah. beautiful. It's a happy yeah. place. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And how did you hear about uh, TFNN? Oh, I've been listening to you guys for quite a while now, eight years or more, something like oh, that. Oh, that's I great. The web search, you know. Oh, that's great. Well, thanks so much for doing that. You wanted to look at uh, DXM. Is that Dex Media Inc.? Yes. Okay. Tell me what you're doing and how I can help you. I bought it on Monday, and I need, I need to know when to sell it. Ah. Well, hey, I think uh, I think you're doing uh, you're doing great out here. So you bought it on Monday. We can take that back. Uh, Monday. Let's see. Friday, Thursday. So you must have bought it somewhere in the uh, fifteen, sixteen dollar range, and it's at twenty three right now. I know. Yeah. Yes. I think something like so that. when you, I don't know anything about the uh, company, they uh, let's see what do these guys do here? They are a uh, publication and marketing directories, yellow pages, white pages. Okay, so that's what they do. So when you when you bought it, was there any type of uh, tell me tell me what your plan was when you bought it, and uh, obviously to make money, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been watching it for about a couple months something like that, maybe a month, and um, I just put my money in it because of, I heard that Kyle Bass was investing in it, so I thought, oh, that must be a good one. Okay. Made a bunch of finance mortgage thing, so. All right, so when we come back, we're going to go back out to San Diego, a great city, folks, that if you haven't been out there, you should go out there. Of course, my favorite, one of my favorite movies, Top Gun, you know, uh, just down the street out there. What a great Air Force base that one is. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain 
contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page of TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program. The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report, which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks, as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the Gold Report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex, up next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, uh, the uh, Dow right now, let's see, I have my sc screen switched off. The uh, Dow's up 33. The uh, S&P is up 6. We're going back out to uh, San Diego to Irene. Hey, Irene, you ever been to the Chart House in uh, La Jolla? Uh, yeah, many years ago. Yeah, what, wow. a great, uh, what a great view that has. Yeah. So we're looking, at, uh, we're looking for Irene. We're taking a look here at uh, Dex Media. Ticker symbol here is DXM. Now, I've got the 10-minute chart up on my screen, so a couple different ways that you could uh, play this. Uh, you know, you're, you're in the money here. Uh, you could always go ahead and uh, take your capital off the table and just have free trading shares out here, and that's one way to maybe consider uh, doing it. Uh, wow. If you're taking a look at this as being a nice long-term holding, that would be one option. Another option, if you're following along with us on Tiger TV, I've got this up on a 10-minute chart out here. And so what I've really identified are the two highest volume bars uh, and then their price top. So that first high volume bar came in at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on a 10-minute chart and got up to the price level of, of 1788 and There were 272,000 shares out there.
the next price bar actually came in here while we were on the air coming from into the 950 uh, time frame here and the low of that bar actually is uh, 2098 uh, now you have nice volume there 167,000 shares out here i would say that if this thing gets below 1788 uh, too much what it will do is it should run all the way back down to the level of around 1309 and the question is do you want you know if that happens you know are is how you have to decide if if that were to occur how that would uh how that would work inside your trading plan uh, right. but you know what should hold uh is if this comes back into 1788 you would expect to see some type of support anywhere between there and i would say a low of about 1518 and you know you're at 21 bucks right now mm -hmm. so i'm not saying to dump it or anything like that but uh, there's, there's such little information on the chart uh, because it hasn't been trading that long that right. I have to come all the way down to a real intraday 10-minute chart. Right. Okay. Uh, so it's always, you know, again, it's always a nice option to have a to have free trading shares out there, especially if you believe in what the fundamental picture. Because that's the only thing I could really you could really go on right now, uh, you know, is the fundamental picture. Uh, because there's just not enough data on a, a daily chart to be able to give you any really great information out here. Right. But it looks, okay. you know, for an IPO, it looks pretty nice so far. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I will do that. All righty. Oh. Hey, you bet. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for calling in. Thank you. Bye. Uh, hey, have a nice weekend uh, cleaning the garage. <laughs> thanks. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, let's see what else we have uh, going out and here here in the uh, marketplace. Uh, let's go peek in on uh, Goldilocks. Uh, see what uh, she is uh, doing here right now. Uh, we've got uh, gold and uh, silver uh, getting a little bit of uh, pressure here. Thirteen sixty eight is where we've got gold trading at right now. There's the uh, thirty minute chart. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, daily chart. You know what we are on in uh, gold is we are on the uh, watch level of thirteen twenty one fifty out here. 1357 is the next stop down. That is the point seven eight six retracement. But she's traveling inside this swing point. That says it wants to go test that low. 1321 out here. Let's go take a look at high ho silver. See what uh, silver is uh, doing. Silver going to go down and test that uh, twenty two dollar area. Now the good news is that silver got down to the uh, low yesterday at twenty two oh six. It has not blown through that level. Volume so far today twenty uh, two thousand contracts. That's going to be going against 200,000 contracts from April 16th. The most bullish thing that you could see out here would be a test somewhere below 22 bucks, a close back above it on lighter volume. That would be your first bullish thing. Then you'd like to see some type of bullish candle or some type of other, uh, some type of other volume uh, coming into it. Uh, folks, uh, stay tuned. The uh, Nadex Bull Bear Binary Option Hour is up next, and uh, it is Fantastic Friday. That means I want you to go out there and have a fantastic weekend, folks. I will look forward to seeing you come Monday morning. Take care. Let me tell you something, folks. I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. Yeah. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability, because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to mastering probability today. Because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away.